Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ship with me video and we have quite a bit to ship. I am on a little bit of a time crunch. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So our first sale is this sweatshirt. It is a collaboration piece with a French brand and Madewell. I will put the tag on the screen. I actually found this in ThreadUp's assorted brands category. I was just kind of scrolling through. I like to do that when I have the rare occasion that I have a little bit of extra time. I will scroll through their assorted brands stuff and I could clearly read the embroidery. And it does have the neck tag so I'm not sure why it was listed under assorted brands but anyways um, I just did a quick google search saw that this was sold at Madewell and I looked up comps comps were pretty good so I did go ahead and order it I paid ten dollars for this I listed it at 45 and someone went into my Poshmark closet they saw it they physically liked the sweatshirt and my Posher VA, which is a bot that I have, it's a Google Chrome extension, um, sent them out an offer for $40 with discounted shipping. They did accept that, making my earnings $29.54 and my net profit right around $20. Okay, next. We have these blank NYC shorts, super cute. I don't pick up all blank NYC, but these had a really cool star. It's like a faux leather star design to them. And they are in the Barrow style, which is a little bit more popular from blank NYC. They were also a pretty good size. So I listed these at 40. The brand does have a pretty high retail price. Uh, I got an offer of $28, which I accepted, making my earnings $22.40. I did get these from regular Goodwill, which my Goodwills charge $5 for shorts. And so my net profit was $17.40. I feel like I'm using a different camera angle today. I think my tripod is higher than it typically is, but I don't think my head is cut off, so I think we're okay. Okay, next we have this blouse. Oops. This is, the brand is Nine Britain. I got it from the bins because I like the style to it. It has this smocked waist. It's like a faux wrap kind of crossover front floral print and it was a size extra large plus it's new with tags so i definitely had to grab this i probably only paid a dollar for it did i say it was originally sold through stitch fix it still has the stitch fix tags and honestly it got a ton of attention i was kind of hesitant about picking it up because i had never heard of the brand nine britain i think that might just be maybe like a boutique kind of line i listed it at 28 i think it retailed for 40 through stitch fix even boutique stuff if it's sold through stitch fix is very expensive so yeah this was originally 40. i listed it for 28 I got an offer a couple weeks after listing for 15, which I did counter to 22. They countered back to 18. I did accept $18, making my earnings $14.40. And like I paid, or like I said, I paid around a dollar. So my net profit was $13.40. Okay, next, a two piece bundle here. I have a hair on my arm. It's driving me crazy. I just brushed my hair, so I know it's mine. But this is an anthropology dolman dress. So cute, so soft. It has these contrasting stripes, so they're horizontal 
on the upper portion, vertical on the lower. Second piece is rails. This is like a blue gingham print. And the anthro dress I ordered from ThreadUp's outlet. So I paid around $6 for it. This I got at the bins, so I paid about a dollar. And so um, the bundle price when they were bundled together added up to $60 and someone offered me 42, which I went ahead and, accept and accepted. I have had the anthropology dress for I would say about six months now and rails does tend to sit for me these days. So I was happy to move both of these out for the price of $42. That made my earnings $33.60. I paid seven for everything. So my net profit was $26.60. I ordered the dress from Thread Up Outlet because that Dolan Left Coast brand does sell pretty well for me and anything that's in like a soft stretch jersey knit material that's very soft, it's basically just like a rayon spandex blend, um, but it's also that material in combination with being like a cute style or print sells great for me because it's a really like wearable, easy to throw on piece that still looks super cute. Okay, next we have a poncho. This is new with partial tag. The brand is Kelly and Katie. Super cute. This has like an equestrian vibe to it, I would say. You can snap it or close it at the collar if you'd like, or you can leave it open for like a wider neck. It has a faux leather trim really cute and with it being new with tags I did not pass this up at the bins so I listed this at 32 it got quite a quite a bit of attention again someone liked the listing and so my posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discounted shipping they did accept that making my earnings $19.94 and my net profit around $18. So, yeah, my, if you're new to my channel, my Posture VA is basically my virtual assistant. Um, I signed up for it on my own. They did not seek me out. I do have the, I have a discount code. It's McKenzie 20 if you guys wanna try it out. You get a free trial and then my code gets you like 20% off your first month. Um, and my sales have hugely increased with it. It just sends out offers for me. It shares my closet. So I could not be happier with it. You'll see throughout these sales that several items sold through the Posture VA. Okay, next we have a three-piece bundle. First off is this pair of G by Goop which is uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's like clothing slash health and beauty line. Um, everything is super expensive and a lot of people are super into it, the goop stuff, because a lot of people really like Gwyneth Paltrow. So I highly recommend you guys pick that up if you see it. These retailed, I wanna say for around $300 and they were her most popular style of jean. I think they are sold out on her website. So I got these actually in a thread up bulk box. So very happy about those. This is an a Goldie denim skirt, frayed hem, button fly. This came from regular Goodwill. I'll wrap these two and then the next separately. So yeah, I would say the, those goop jeans were one of my best items in my 100 pound thread up bulk box. I really need to order another one of those because I was very happy with that box. Okay, last item is this All Saints cowl neck sweater. It buttons down and back or snaps down. And this was actually new with tags. 
crazy. I got this from my Family Thrift Center outlet, so I paid $2 for it. I was shocked when I saw the tag. Um, so the buyer bundled the three of these items and I sent her a $175 offer with discounted shipping. And she did accept that. So that made my earnings $138 with 50 cents. I paid $12 for everything. And so my net profit was $126 with 50 cents. Super happy about that. The jeans came straight to my door so I didn't have to go out, search for them, drive around, didn't even have to get dressed to find them. Um, and the Agoldi skirt came from regular Goodwill where I spend way less time shopping than I do the bins, mostly because everything is hung up and it's already a little bit more curated, I would say, than the bins. I would say like 60% of the bins is like straight trash. So um, it definitely takes me less time to shop at Goodwill. So this bundle was definitely a work smarter, not harder kind of sale, which we love. Next, we have this H&M turtleneck. Really cute, very chunky knit. It has a cable knit design, kind of puff sleeve there, turtleneck. And this is a wool blend, which I usually pick up H&M sweaters if they are, if they have a wool blend to them, just because it kind of elevates the quality a little bit. And so I'm going to use my box number seven that I order free from the USPS. This is the box that I use for large items and or large bundles. Okay, slap the label on. Next up we have a top, a blouse, a popover blouse. Uh, this is from Lou and Gray. It's chambray, super cute and it has some little frayed accents at the chest pockets which i thought was super cute i do like getting lou and gray for sure it's a solid kind of bundle brand bread and butter brand for me so i listed this at 25 dollars. someone liked it and my posture va sent them out a 22 dollar offer with discounted shipping if you're wondering um Basically, I just have the settings to where anytime someone likes an item in my closet, my bot, my Posture VA bot will go in and send them a 10% off offer along with discounted shipping. And oftentimes it results in a sale, sometimes it results in a counter offer, but either way, it just kind of opens up the door for a sale. It shows buyers that I'm willing to negotiate. Um, and yeah, so, and you can set it to whatever you want. You can do 50% off if you're trying to, you know, vigorously move items. Okay, next, this two-piece bundle. First off is Michael Stars. How cute is this? I almost kept this. But I have a lot of shirts like this, so I went ahead and listed it. It's like this really gauzy cotton material and a tie-dye print. Second and last item is Bella Doll. I'm a little bit pickier with this brand, especially if it's this older tag. But this was 100% linen, which linen always elevates an item, the quality of it, just because it is a more luxurious item. It's more expensive to make clothing with, make anything with. And so if I'm kind of on the fence about something, if it's 100% linen, that will for sure sway me to buy it. So the buyer added the two of these tops to a bundle and I sent them an offer of $50 with discounted shipping, which was accepted making my earnings $37.54. I paid about $3 for both of these tops. And so my net profit was 
Moving on, we have, okay, this is a four piece bundle and it does have a purse. So we'll do the purse first. This is Pendleton, so cool. I found this at the bins like a while ago, a few months ago. I've been putting off listing it because it has pet hair. I'm going to wrap it in a plastic bag for that reason because um, yeah, it has pet hair on it and I have been meaning to like give it a good, good old vacuum, but I really have just been stretched on time um, and I have been trying to work smarter, not harder. So just going to put this in a plastic bag so that, you know, it doesn't get on anything else in the bundle. We'll add this in first. Um, but someone, yeah, that's okay. Someone saw that bag in a bundle or sorry, someone saw that bag in a haul video of mine and reached out to me on Poshmark, asked if it was, if I still had it. These are BDG light wash mom jeans. And I just let her know, yeah, I have it. Oh, she said she would take it even if it was flawed. And so I just told her, you know, it has pet hair basically, if that's a deal breaker, um, I totally understand. And she said that she has a Husky. So that kind of worked out. Um, it didn't seem like that was a huge deal. So, um, and she told me she would take 120 for everything. Um, and I thought that was fair. This is the fourth and last item. It is a J. Jill corduroy kind of button down shacket item. So yeah, I bundled the four together and I sent her a $120 offer, like she said, which she accepted. And that made my earnings $96. I paid about seven for everything. And so my net profit was $89 on this bundle. So yeah, I'm so happy I could get that Pendleton bag sold. I really just don't think I ever would have sat down. I'm sure like maybe in like a year or something, but I've just been so go, go, go recently that I am ecstatic about moving this out. And I mean, it truly is an incredible bag. It needs to be used and loved. So I'm so happy it's finding a new home. Okay, moving on. We have a four piece bundle. Let's see, what do I wanna to wrap together? Um, we'll do these two. Okay, so first is Coldwater Creek. Don't always get this brand, but this is 100% linen, like I was just mentioning. It's a size 12, really fun pop of color, pop of orange for spring and summer. It has pockets, it's halfway lined, really nicely constructed. Second item, also 100% linen. This was a new brand for me, Trovada Birds of Paradise. Um, and I think it is Bolo. The shirt seemed to retail for around $200 and the comps looked pretty good around 35 to 45 ish. So I was happy to stumble across that. You guys should keep that on your radar. I've definitely noticed people are buying shorts, linen, sandals, so I would highly suggest you guys, I am almost out of tape, I need to order more. Yeah, I would highly suggest you guys uh, either start listing your spring summer if you haven't already or definitely start ramping up to that. I think it's still pretty cold in a lot of places, but I think people are thinking about spring and summer. They're hoping for it. Okay, next, this is Point Sur from J. Crew. It's a pink, kind of heavier weight button down with a cute sleeve. Love the color. Size large. I think this was a little bit of a newer piece. 
I got this from the bins. And very last for this bundle is this J. Crew once again, kind of shacket safari style shirt with a pleated back. Really cute. I love the tortoise shell buttons. I told you guys so many times recently, but I have not been able to keep shackets in stock. I list them and then they sell either same day or next day. As long as I have that keyword in there, they fly. So keep your eye out for sure. Okay, so the buyer uh, bundled the four of these and I sent her an offer of $95 with discounted kind of shipping. That was accepted and that made my earnings $74.50. I paid right around $8 for everything and so my net profit was $66.50. up a little bit. Next we have these Zara shorts. Grab these from the bins mainly because they were extremely high waisted and the newer Zara tag which uh, sells great for me. I think I added the keywords both mom and dad shorts because I didn't know which parents we were kind of styling after. Honestly, even if you're not sure which keyword is correct, just add them all. That's kind of what I do because you never know what someone is going to be searching for. And there's no like keyword police on Poshmark. No one's gonna come in and say, hey, you have the wrong keyword there. Unless you are purposefully mis- Miss tagging brands like if I had put in the description look like reformation then anyone searching for reformation shorts those would pull up under which is frustrating don't do that but you know as far as like style keywords go you can pretty much use whatever you'd like okay next we have logo by Lori Goldstein this is a high low hemline with roll tab sleeves really pretty pastel pink I usually like to get this brand when it has a really nice or boho kind of fun print or texture. Um, this one obviously is a solid color. However, it was a size 14 and I do love the pink. So uh, I did kind of make an exception for this piece and it sold really well. I listed it for $32. Um, I would say like next day after being listed, it sold. My Posture VA, once again, sent out an offer for $28 with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $19.94 and my net profit about $18. So that was great. Moving on, we have a three-piece bundle, two silk items. So first, this is Jay McLaughlin, a little paisley printed mini dress with a flattering smocked waist. I got this from the bins. I probably paid like 75 cents for it because it is so lightweight. This equipment, leopard print silk blouse, this I ordered from ThreadUp's outlet. I love the leopard print combined with the silk. So we have these two and then one pair of shoes. These Cole Haan sandals, they are the Grand OS kind of technology. These are called the Analay sandals. These sold super quickly. They look pretty much brand new. Um, 
I found one woman's like collection of shoes at the bins and I happily bought all of them and I think they've all sold now maybe with the exception of like one so for these three I sent the buyer a $75 offer with discounted shipping which she did accept making my earnings $58.50 I paid nine around nine for everything and so my net profit was right around $50 and if you're curious what all boxes I use, what specific box numbers that I order from the USPS, I do have a list for everything in the description if you guys are wondering what boxes I'm using. Okay, next, this was an awesome sale. This is the brand Wilt. It's a slub cotton midi dress. Really nice quality, made in USA. This is for sure a brand to be on the lookout for. It's definitely a more kind of mature brand with a lag and look style, which basically just means like layering, um, layering pieces that have like asymmetrical hemlines or just kind of like loose fits. Um, if you Google lag and look, it, it will explain it better than I can. It's it's a certain look, which is like I envision it in my head, but I don't know how to really put words to it. But anyways, this brand is a bolo wilt for sure. It's sometimes sold at Anthropology, uh, but this dress probably retailed for about two hundred, maybe two fifty. I listed it at fifty five, and I got an offer. I would say about a month after. For $46, which I did accept, making my earnings $36.80 and my net profit right around $35. I did get that from my Family Thrift Center outlet. Okay, same kind of brand here actually. This is Bryn Walker. This is like a tunic dress with pleating at the lower half. Really pretty. I think this was, if I remember correctly, 100% bamboo, which is very luxurious, very soft, and also made in the USA. These are high quality, tried and true brands. I listed this for $45. Again, about a month after being listed, someone liked it. My Posher VA sent them out a $40 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $29.54 and my net profit $27.54. So two good Bolo brands for you guys. I would say with Bryn Walker, the linen stuff is for sure the most popular, but any kind of higher tier fabric will do for sure like bamboo um, you can see that sold pretty well okay next we have this H&M long line sweater top it has a cowl neck it's it's like a loose knit and then kind of wide wider half sleeves I got this like I was mentioning earlier with that like chunky knit H&M cable sweater um, I pick up H&M sweaters or mall brand sweaters really any mall brand sweaters that have a little bit of a better uh, fabric content this is a mohair blend so it has that really nice kind of luxurious fuzzy feel to it it looks very high fashion or maybe not high fashion but it looks uh, just kind of fancier really it really kind of dresses up the piece so for this sweater I listed it at 28 it probably retail for about 40 to 60 dollars listed it at 28 once again my posture VA sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping that was accepted making my earnings $17.54 and my net profit, $15.54. We have a three-piece bundle here 
first off is this skirt. Super cute. This brand is Lindy Bop, which I mainly got this because, well, several reasons. First off, it's a size extra large. It has a novelty bird print and it's in that kind of retro pinup rockabilly style. Those are all keywords that are huge for this type of piece. A lot of people search those out um, to buy stuff like this specifically. Second item is this boutique top. I got this from the bins mainly because it's leopard print, it's size extra large, it's a high low long line, um, and it's new with tags. Did I say that? <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of factors going on here. It's just a boutique piece, so no real brand to it, but my rule with boutique is it has to be uh, good quality. We all know it's not going to be the best quality, but it has to be good quality. I don't buy polyester. I don't buy, um, you know, those really just kind of cheaper fabrics. And it also has to be a good style. So those two, the combo of those two things I will pick up in boutique. And lastly for this bundle is this Coldwater Creek Genuine Suede Belt. It's like an O-ring belt. And my rule with belts is um, just as long as they're genuine leather, I will get them. They get bonus points if they are like a boho style and or a larger size. So this had all three. It's suede, size extra large, and it's pretty boho, I would say. So I checked off all my boxes. I got it at the bins, probably paid a dollar or so for it. So this bundle, oh, this actually sold for full price, which is awesome. So I do have an automatic 15% off three items or more bundle discount in my closet. So the buyer bundled the three and they did receive obviously that 15% off discount that made the bundle price $76.50. My earnings were $61.20. I paid about four for everything, and so my net profit was $57.20. Okay, next we have a pair of boots. These are Sorel boots. I picked these up maybe like last week or so at the bins. Really cool, they're a suede, upper kind of faux fur lining. So I'm just going to put one in, add a piece of paper, put the other in the opposite way, and add one more piece of paper. You might think that's excessive with all the paper, but suede, you do not want rubbing together during transit. So for these boots, I listed them at 50, and either same day or next day, someone offered me 42, which I was ecstatic about. I did accept that, which made my earnings $33.60. So my net profit was right around $30 on those. Really pretty piece here. This is Free People. It's called the JoJo Top. It has like a lace design and then um, a really soft kind of bodice. So pretty. So I listed this at 45. I can't remember exactly right now. I want to say there were no other of this black or gray colorway listed at the time that I listed, which is an excellent thing to see. That means that you can pretty much control the price on it because you know if you have the only one you're the only option so I listed at 35 I got an offer next day for 38 I did go ahead and accept that just because I do love a fast sale my earnings were $30 and 40 cents I only paid two for it that's another reason um, I will accept 
a fast offer. And so my net profit was $28 and 40 cents. Okay, moving on, we have this poncho here. Kind of going back to what I was saying, this is a boutique piece, but it is pretty substantial, very cute. It's a size small, medium. I mainly just like the fit to this as well as the color palette. I am for sure a neutrals girl. So, and I only paid $2 for this, so kind of a no-brainer. So I listed this at 28. My Posher VA sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping. Uh, that was accepted, making my earnings $17.54. I paid two, so my net profit was $15.54. Since yeah, I think you guys sometimes ask me why sometimes I use a box, sometimes I use an envelope. It doesn't matter either one, just with whatever fits and what. Poshmark does have a pre-negotiated rate with USPS, so buyer is paying the same amount for whatever item you're shipping priority mail, um, as long as it's under five pounds so that's pretty great uh, if you're buying closer to five pounds but if it's just like one top that is a pretty it's like seven dollars and 75 cents so that is pretty steep for like one top but that's just how it is on Poshmark okay next we have this Calvin Klein leopard print midi dress with a bow at the neckline this is kind of an experimental piece for me. I got it from the bins. I don't ever really pick up Calvin Klein, but this was a pretty substantial piece with it being a midi length leopard print um, and more of like a career style. So I wanted to get it, see how it would do. I would say it did okay. It sold within two months and I listed it at 28. My Posture VA sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping. And so my net profit was right around $15. So I'm not unhappy with that by any means. Um, you know, I pay my bills with a lot of $15 net profits added up. So I'm happy with it. Um, and I would pick up similar styles in the future. When you're shopping at the bins, you really can't go wrong, honestly. Okay, moving on, we have a three-piece bundle. First off is this All Saints sweater. It has like a turtleneck, ribbed knit, a tie at the shoulder. Um, size large. This sold very quickly as well within a couple days of being listed. It's a size large, really nice piece. This probably retailed, I would guess, for around $200, maybe $250. All Saints is very expensive. So we have that sweater and then this. Once again, kind of boutique item. This is from Mustard Seed. I got it because it's a size large. It has this fun striped print. It's in that kind of casual uh, shirt dress kind of look. So it's really comfortable to just throw on, but it's also very cute and you know makes you look put together. Plus it has that fun kind of like knot front detail, which has been pretty popular. Oh, you know what? I meant to wrap. I am getting distracted here. I meant to wrap this top with it. This is the third and last item in the bundle. The brand is Kate, which I had never heard of, um, but I saw that it said handmade and it was really nice embroidery so I had to get it very boho and it was new with tags. I found like 
five of these at my um, Family Thrift Center outlet, just all in a row. So, of course, I bought all of them. The quality on them, it feels kind of similar to Johnny Was, which is great. So, let's see. The bundle price for these three with that built-in 15% off discount came out to $95 and someone offered me 80, which I went ahead and accepted, making my earnings $64. I paid about $6 for everything and so my net profit was 58. All right, so we will stick our label on and I think we might have time for one more package before I need to run these down. So first is this pair of Sam Edelman Gladiator sandals. They have like a little wedge heel and back. Um, these are a size eight, pretty good condition. I do like buying Sam Edelman. I would say that with Steve Madden, Vince Camuto. They're all pretty solid seller shoe brands for me. What is this piece of paper was cut kind of weird. I will save that as stuffing for a pair of shoes. These sandals. jumpsuit. This is adorable. I modeled this. The brand is Japna, which I see quite a bit, but I don't always pick up. Again, kind of go going back to that quality issue, but this was a jumpsuit. It said, I believe this said handmade in India. So, I mean, you can't get much higher quality than handmade. Um, and it was so cute. I did model this. Did I say that? <laughs> I am all over the place today, guys. I have been running around like crazy. But okay, so this bundle, the bundle price was 56 and the buyer offered me 47. I accepted that. My earnings were $37.60. I paid $4 for everything. And so my net profit was $33.60. I'm going to run this stuff down to the post office and then I will be back to finish. Alrighty, so I am back from the post office. It's a few hours later. I had a snack, kind of refueled, and I am now ready to get back into our sales. So next up we have this Madewell sweater. It's like uh, in between a sweatshirt and long sleeve material or weight, I guess you'd say it's it's not as light as a long sleeve t-shirt and not as heavy as a sweater. Um, this is an older item from Madewell. I can I notice that right off the bat because the tag says 1937, which they don't uh, print anymore on the care or the brand tag at the neck. But the care tag tells me that it's from summer 2015. However, I did get this because it is super cute. It's like a color block with, I think that literally means made well on the front in French. So I had to grab this from the bins and honestly it's in excellent condition. If it did have pilling, I would have left it behind for sure. So I listed this at $28 and I received an offer for 23. I went ahead and accepted that, making my earnings $18.40 and my net profit $17.40. I probably only paid about a dollar for it. It's relatively lightweight. What is this? Oh yeah, J. Crew made with Liberty fabric, 
really pretty blouse. I've actually never found this collab before. Um, Liberty fabric. It basically just, they have beautiful kind of floral prints and they partnered with J. Crew to create some really beautiful blouses and items. Had one small little um, loose thread there. So I will insert a close up of this print because it really is pretty. And I believe they have a pretty good resale value, this collab. I listed this for $40. And I would say within a couple days of being listed, I got an offer for 25, which I did go ahead and accept. Um, I probably could have held out a little bit longer for closer to list price, but I do love a fast sale. My earnings were 20. I picked this up from regular Goodwill. And so I did pay $6 for it. So my net profit was 14, but I'm still thrilled with a fast sale and um, I hope the buyer really enjoys it. It is a really, really pretty piece and I look forward to finding that collab again in the future. Okay, next, this is a really nice kind of luxurious bundle here. First off, we have a 100% cashmere v-neck sweater with a slightly flared wrist, or I guess sleeve. It's, did I say? Yeah, I said 100% cashmere. It's from a Nordstrom Signature. So it's just their house label, but you know, it's very soft and nice. Um, even Nordstrom's just kind of house signature Brand. I'm sure this sweater re still retailed for around $150, if not more. There is nothing cheap about Nordstrom. Second item in this bundle is yet again 100% cashmere equipment, size small. It's like a neutral leopard print, really pretty. And so yeah, someone is getting a very kind of um, fancy bundle here. So the bundle price when these two were added together was $110 and I offered her 75, which, or no, sorry, she sent me an offer for 75, which I did accept that. I thought that was pretty fair. That made my earnings 60. I did have the this Nordstrom black sweater for a couple months now. I was kind of surprised. Usually cashmere kind of flies out of my closet. Um, so when this offer came in, I did want to accept that, especially because we are starting to move out of colder weather, especially here in Houston. Um, we had people swimming at the pool <laughs> recently. So um, yeah. I do want to start moving out my kind of warmer weather items. So my earnings were 60. I paid $2 a piece for these sweaters. So my net profit was $54. Moving on. What does this say? Oh yeah. Okay. We have a two piece here. All Saints a burnout very wide slouchy kind of semi cropped hoodie I do love finding All Saints especially if it's in this like loungewear at leisure kind of style because this stuff is very hot right now second and last item is Rolling Stones graphic t-shirt I think I'm almost positive someone cropped them themselves, but they did a pretty good job. I just mentioned that in the listing. Yeah, it's pretty straight, honestly. And it did have a couple stains. I did see the stains before I purchased it at the bins. 
honestly, it already has this like bleach effect and it's a band tee, so I didn't really think that they would keep it from selling and they didn't. It sold within like a couple days of being listed. Uh, they both did. It might have been just within one day of being listed for both of them. So that's one category that I know when I pick it up, it's going to sell very quickly. Band tees. Um, the bundle price for these two was $58 and someone offered me $34. I went ahead and took that because, um, you know, like I was saying, I like a fast sale. And also I did want to kind of account for those stains on the graphic t-shirt. It was an at home crop job. So I thought 34 was fair for both. That made my earnings $27 and 20 cents and my net profit $24 and 20 cents. Wow. What happened there? I just got everything out of order here. How did that even, how did that happen? Kind of, it's kind of hard to like conceptualize. Okay. Okay. We're back in shape here. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's too late for me to scramble up my labels. All right. So a three piece bundle. First off is this paper moon which is a Stitch, Stitch Fix brand. I'm not sure if this was sold through Stitch Fix, but it does still have the tags. I thought this would be adorable for rodeo season. Could wear this with some cowboy boots and a denim jacket. I got this from the bins. It's a size large, new with tags, crochet overlay, could not leave it. I'll wrap the next two together. So yeah, pretty much anything when I'm at the bins that looks trendy, pretty good quality, new with tags, even if it's a less substantial brand or type of item, if it has several selling factors going for it, I will still pick it up 100%. Okay, next to this is a tie-dye top. This has a lot going for it. I ordered this from the Thread Up outlet. First off, it's a super soft fabric. It's also got a shark bite hem, tie-dye print, and an open back with a twist detail. I don't think this had any inner tags. They had it listed under like no brand. I found it by filtering out tie-dye tie-dye printed stuff sells super well for me. So lastly for this bundle is this little free people kind of tunic tank with some openings in back. It's like a crinkled material. I got this one from the bins as well. So let's see. When these three were added together, the bundle price with my 15% off discount came out to $78. And I offered the buyer 50. I have had the orange free people tank for a couple months now. And the paper moon dress, the crochet dress, I also have had, let's say a month to a month and a half. So I offered 50, they did counter to 47, which I thought was uh, kind of specific, but I did accept that, which made my earnings $37.60. I paid about $10 for everything just because I did order the tie-dye top from the Thread Up outlet. And so my net profit was right around $28. Now we have more tie dye. The brand on this is Easel Los Angeles. This is another kind of boutique -y brand. 
This did have quite a bit going for it. It has a wide neckline, which makes like a very slouchy fit. Um, it's 100% cotton and just very boho loungewear kind of stuff. You can throw this on, go run some errands, hang around the house, and you're still looking very cute. So I listed this top at $28, and I would say within two days, maybe three days, I got an offer for $25. I did accept that, making my earnings $20 and my net profit $18. Okay, moving on, even more tie-dye kind of print. I don't know if this is technically tie-dye, but it is definitely some kind of like dyed look. So this is a midi or maxi dress. I think it's midi. Yeah, it is midi dress. It's from Peruvian Connection, which is a definite bolo, especially their alpaca items um this however is a very soft stretch jersey knit dress this dress did have a couple flaws that i did see before purchasing it it has like a tiny spot stain by the collar as well as a tiny hole i did obviously disclose everything in the listing i still wanted to get it though because my cost of goods is so low, $2, that I have room to heavily discount the item and still make a profit. And I will mainly do that for items that I know will sell quickly. And this one did, it sold within like a day or two. I listed it for $20 and it sold full price my earnings were 16 and my net profit was 14. So that's an easy $14. And honestly, the flaws are not super noticeable. So I'm sure the buyer will still enjoy it. So it's definitely a win-win. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm out of order again. Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay. Next, we have these Urban Outfitters pants. These are the brand Kimchi Blue, which is an Urban Outfitters house brand. They are a paper bag waist, wide leg, tie front, cropped fit. They have a lot going for them. This is definitely a cut of pants that you guys should be on the lookout for. I did pick these up for my regular Goodwill, which means I did pay up for them a little bit, even though they are just house brand American Eagle, sorry, Urban Outfitters. Um, but I did, I was willing to pay the $7, which is what my Goodwill charges for pants because I knew they would sell quickly. And this style is just so incredibly popular right now. The paper bag waist, the wide cropped leg. You can add keywords like academia, preppy, uh, paper bag waist. There's a lot you can add in there. And so I listed these for $32. I got an offer, I would say maybe like three or four days after listing for 27. I accepted that making my earnings $21 and 60 cents and my net profit $14 and 60 cents. Okay, another kind of boutique brand. This is Olive Aceous, which I do not typically pick up, but yet again, we have that kind of dyed, tie-dye almost look. It has a little keyhole at the neckline with a tie closure, frayed bottom hem. So there are quite a bit of details to this. And so yeah, I picked this up at the bins. I probably paid about a dollar for it. I listed it at 25 and maybe about a month after being listed, I got a $17 offer. I accepted that. My earnings were $13.60 and 
and I only paid a dollar. So, we love that. And honestly, when items kind of sit in my closet these days, it really doesn't bother me because I don't manually share my closet anymore. So, my, you know, I just click the share button on my Posture VA. It shares my whole closet for me in like 15 minutes. And so any items that are sitting that add to my sharing time, that doesn't affect me anymore because I'm not doing it. So I could just list, you know, a thousand items and not have to worry about the added sharing time. Um, I pretty much just list and forget these days. Okay, next we have a very exciting sale. These are a pair of shoes. They are Teeks one of my absolute favorite brands to find. These were definitely more, um, there was a huge craze over them for a while. I would say there definitely still is um, a loyal following for sure, but they used to sell within hours of being listed. These took about three or four days, I would say. Um, I listed them at 125. They retail at 195. So yeah, I listed them at 125. They were in really good shape besides a little bit of residue on the bottom sole. I got an offer for 106. I did accept that making my earnings $84.80. I did find these at the bins, you guys. I was so excited. They yelled go, and there was a shoe rotation, and everyone was like moving these around to look at things under them. I was like, are you guys serious? What kind of rock have you guys been living under where you don't know teaks? But I mean, honestly, I'm very grateful for that rock because I just kind of swooped in and grabbed them. So yeah, my net profit on these was probably about, uh, I don't even know, $82, maybe a couple dollars less than my earnings. So you really can't beat that. Okay, moving on, we have a sweater from Banana Republic. This is a cream colored cable knit sweater. I do not pick up all Banana Republic by any means. However, this is for sure an exception. It is 100% alpaca. And there are people out there who love their alpaca. Some people only wear alpaca. It does have a few fuzzies. I think I put that in the listing. I'm, I hope I did. I'm sure I did. But if not, I think those were really the only ones that I saw. So maybe I didn't because there really were only a few. So I listed this at 40 and I would say about a month after being listed, I got a $34 offer, which I accepted. My earnings were $27.20 and my net profit was right around $25. I got this for my family thrift center outlet on two dollar day my favorite day of the week um, it's that Thursdays are such like the day goes by in the blink of an eye that rhymed I'm a poet and I didn't know it but I wake up at like 5 15 I shop from 7 until like 10 usually then I come back here, I ship, and then it's like time for bed, honestly. Um, Thursdays literally are crazy. One more pair of shoes, last pair of shoes here. These are a J. Crew smoking loafer, super cute. They have like a metallic leopard print to them. And I listed these at 35. Get that. Could oh. you try again? Okay, my Siri was listening in on everything I was saying. So I listed these at 35 and I got an offer for 29. Maybe like 
five days after being listed, which I accepted, making my earnings $23.20 and my net profit $21.20. So now we will switch gears a little bit. I do have three sales from my men's closet and then we will be done for the evening. So first off is this Harley Davidson shirt, really cool. It has a Cajun, Louisiana graphic on the back, size 2XL. Found this at the bins. Also, I forget. I think I think I listed this at like 28 and I got a $25 offer, which I accepted making my earnings 20 and my net profit 19. Pretty much anything Harley Davidson I will grab, especially if it's in larger sizes. Also, if it has uh, any type of cool or interesting print. I just got a shirt from the bins yesterday. It's so cool. It's like tie dye. I think I'm going to model it just to show how cool it is. I might pair it with some biker shorts and whatnot. Okay, this person's from Louisiana, so that's fun because this is um, Louisiana themed. So that's neat. My cousins, I have cousins from Louisiana. I love them, my Cajun cousins. Okay, um, you know what? I think I might, I'm gonna use a big box for this next piece it is a levi's jacket so i will just add a piece of paper to the bottom of the box and then i will add the jacket this is a levi's like trucker style black denim jacket it didn't have any size or markings but my boyfriend did try this on. Uh, I forget how he said that it fit. I think it was like a size large. And so I listed this jacket at 38 and I got an offer of 34, which I accepted, making my earnings 27.20. I paid about $3 for it. It's from the bin, so it's a little bit heavier. That made my net profit $24.20. Just stick this on. And then our very last sale of today. This feels like a long time coming here. We have this All Saints men's cardigan, size extra small. It's like a really soft ribbed material. Yeah, it's cotton and modal which modal is like buttery soft. And let's see, this sold for $22. My earnings were $17.60 and my net profit was $15.60. This was yet another family thrift store outlet find. I have a bag of susp suspenders that I have been trying to list in my men's closet. Every time I sit down to do it, I have something else that pops up that I need to do, but I am bound and determined this weekend, I will be listing those suspenders. They are Trafalgar brand, several of them are, which is a really good uh, suspenders brand to look out for. I found them all at the bins. So that is absolutely everything for this gigantic ship with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a long one. So if you stayed until the end, thank you so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.